Okay, so here's the proof for this theorem. If for X is CW complex, its CW homology agrees with its homology. First, uh, well, obviously we have to use the definition of these terms, such as CW homology. And in that definition, uh, it was the homology of a chain complex, and here was the n plus first term in that chain complex, there's the nth term, and there's its, the differential it's connected in. So that differential was defined as a composite. First, this mysterious boundary homomorphism in the long exact sequence for the pair, which is the n skeleton inside of the n plus first skeleton, followed by uh, this homomorphism in a different long exact sequence associated to the pair, which is the n minus first skeleton and the n skeleton. So I drew a part of that first long exact sequence this direction. Here is Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And the other long exact sequence going this way, here is Friday, uh, Wednesday, Monday, in that long exact sequence. And we'll exploit that these are long exact sequences. How will we do that? Well, let's first observe some of the terms in this long exact sequence, as well as some in this long exact sequence. Uh, well, let's see. This term, um, which is the n skeleton quotient and the, the n plus one skeleton quotient the n skeleton from uh, the previous the previous lemma uh, we saw that that was uh, concentrated in degree n plus one where it was free abelian but we're looking at the nth homology so that previous calculation said that this term is zero. Theorem C in that previous lemma said that the inclusion of the n plus first skeleton into x induced an isomorphism on, on homology. So we can identify this term um, as the homology of x. That term is the trivial abelian group. And this term is, uh, by lemma part B, is um, is trivial because we're looking at a degree of homology which is greater than the dimension of the skeleton. So we've just identified uh, a bunch of terms in each of these two long exact sequences, and we'll let's then exploit that. Let's see. So exactness here means that uh, qn is injective. Once we know that zero then image in here is zero. Exactness here means if this image equals the kernel of Qn, therefore the kernel of Qn is zero. So this gives that Qn is injective. And so are all the Qs. Uh, likewise, <coughs> because this is trivial, this is surjective, or sorry, uh, the, the kernel of this map is entire. Exactness here means that the image of this is equal to the kernel of that. Therefore, the image of this is entire. So we get that this map is surjective by exactness. And from the first homomorphism theorem, therefore, this group is this group modulo its kernel, the kernel of this. But exactness here at this site asserts that the kernel of this arrow is the image of this arrow. Therefore, again from the first isomorphism theorem for groups, this group is isomorphic to this group modulo the image of boundary n plus one. And with 
concatenating that isomorphism with this one, you get the first statement in the continuation of this, this proof. So the nth reduced homology of x, which is what we want, which is what this theorem concerns, we first note that it's isomorphic to uh, this term, uh, sorry, this term modulo is the image of that, as just explained. So we get this isomorphism. Okay, well, because Qn is injective, then this group is isomorphic to its image in here. And likewise, the image of boundary n plus 1, the subgroup of this, is isomorphic to its image in here. So writing that down, so because Qn is injective, uh, this group is isomorphic to its image, and that subgroup is isomorphic to its image under Q. Now, uh, I see image of Qn, and Qn is part of the long exact sequence going this way. I didn't draw the next, the n minus first terms, uh, but boundary, boundary n is the next part in this long exact sequence. So the image of Qn is equal to the, to the kernel of boundary n by exactness of, of this long exact sequence at this site. So I can replace this instance of kernel, uh, of image, by this kernel. Now, again, because now Qn minus 1 is injective, so just this, but the n minus 1 version of it, um, this kernel is isomorphic to its image under Qn minus 1. It's written here. And finally, we see that, uh, so we just notice Qn minus 1 after boundary n, that's the definition of dn, and likewise dn plus 1. And that's what defines the MQW homology of x. So that, this concatenation of isomorphisms, is a comparison between. Um, between these homology uh, groups. So that proves this theorem.